heard of Congressman Roy Blunt, who for 14 years has been in Washington getting cozy with special interests, standing up for big oil companies, standing up for big insurance companies, standing up for big Wall Street banks. And that's the choice in this election. Now, <laughs> we're, we're going to get to that. Now, you know, cleaning up, cleaning up after those like Congressman Blunt who have been in Washington way too long is what this election is going to be all about. And whether I'm in Cameron or Kennett or Blue Springs or St. Charles, there's one thing I hear over and over again, and that is Missourians are just fed up with business as usual in Washington. Because we're never going to get our economy going again. We're never going to create those jobs we need right here. We're never going to get our budget balanced and under control and stop the wasteful spending unless we change what's broken in Washington. Now, many of you all know, <laughs> many of you all know I still run our family cattle farm outside of Rolla. <laughs> and you learn a lot of lessons on the farm. There are things that you can apply to the rest of your life. One of those lessons, yep, I learned to know bull when I see it. Yeah. And, which is coming in pretty handy these days. One of the other things I learned, though, is when something breaks, you fix it. You don't bicker, you don't complain, you don't blame somebody else, you don't say it's too hard or too complicated, you fix it. And to me, Washington is broken right now. We need to set about fixing it, not bickering and complaining, not blaming somebody else, but set about fixing it. Because Washington continues to have a culture that all too often breeds corruption and influence peddling. It caters to those powerful special interests instead of regular people, and it encourages wasteful spending and doesn't hold people accountable for how our money gets spent. And folks, it's that kind of behavior along with looking out for Wall Street more than Main Street that got our economy into the biggest mess we've seen in our lifetimes, and that's what we've got to fix and stop. And I'm running for the United States Senate to do just that. <laughs> now, how we, how we fix the things that are broken in Washington is what I've been talking about a lot. Some of y'all have been out there. I've been my, on my Stop the Bull tour around the state, and I'm going to continue to do that. I'm going to talk about what we need to do to stop the wasteful spending. I'm going to talk about how we put Missouri families first ahead of those that are too big to fail, and I'm going to keep talking about what we need to do to stop that culture of corruption that's taken over far too many people out there. Now, here in Missouri as Secretary of State, I've been able to succeed by knowing who I work for and never forgetting that. And first and foremost, we've been looking out for consumers, particularly seniors, against big financial interests who've been taken advantage of. And we've gotten back over $10 billion for tens of thousands of people at a time when folks in Washington were asleep at the switch. Woo! Yeah. And, we've been, and we've been looking out for small businesses and cutting costs and cutting red tape. And that's what I think that ought to be about so they can spend their time growing their businesses and creating jobs that we need so badly here. So standing on the side of Missouri families against big interests, whether they're in Washington or in Wall Street, is what I have done as Secretary of State, and that is what I'm going to continue to do in the United States Senate. Unfortunately, though, we all know that there are some folks who just don't agree with that. There are some folks, like my opponent, Congressman Roy Blunt, who's been in Washington too long. And I know and you know that he can sometimes sound pretty good when he comes out here to Missouri, flies out, gets in that rented pickup truck, <laughs> puts on that plaid shirt, and says he's looking out for us. The problem is his record in Washington tells a very different story. And so I need to give you a couple of examples about that, because it's going to be important in this election. You know, Congressman Blunt, he loves to say he's worried about the deficit. You know what? I'm worried about that, too. The difference is, when he was in charge, one of the top leaders in the House, and had a chance to do something about that, you want to know what happened? We went from having a $128 billion surplus to a $1.2 trillion debt under his watch. 
And you know, he also likes to brag about how he's a fiscal conservative. Well, it is. Because <laughs> it turns out he's a king of wasteful earmarks. Under his watch, we went from having 1,600 of these earmarks in our budget to 12,000. It was a seven-fold increase, $225 billion. So when it comes to wasteful spending and the deficit, Congressman Blunt's not part of the solution. He's part of the problem and has been for the last 10 years. So when you hear that in the next 30 days, in the next 90 days, here's what I want you to say. Bull. You need to say it. And I'll tell you, this guy's not just the king of pork, he's also Mr. Bailout. This is a guy who not only was there to deregulate Wall Street in the first place and let him run wild, but when they devastated our economy, was there to bail him out to the tune of $700 billion. And then, and then, every time he had a chance to hold them accountable and stop the worst abuses, guess whose side he came down on? He was right there with Wall Street and has taken more than a million and a half dollars from big financial interests. That's not a coincidence, you think? It's not a coincidence. Folks on Wall Street, I'll bet, are calling Congressman Blunt a pretty good investment. <laughs> to me, I have another name for it. Bull. I call it bull, <laughs> and so should you. Now, this last one just takes the cake to me. You know, Congressman Blunt, he says he's out there looking out for us, and I got a question about that. Why is it, Congressman, you are the number one top recipient in all of Congress of lobbyist campaign contributions? I don't think that's a coincidence. I don't think that's looking out for us. I think that is bull, and you need to call him on it too. So here's what I want to ask you tonight. I got a couple of questions. First, what are you going to say the next time you hear Congressman Blunt say he's going to stop the wasteful spending in Washington? Whoa, absolutely, you got it. And what are you going to say when he says he's going to stand up for us against the big financial and special interests? Whoa. And what are you going to say when he says he'll be out to Washington to look out for you? Whoa. So, you got it. There is no doubt that there is going to be a very clear choice in this election between Congressman Blunt and me when it comes to whose side we're going to be on in Washington. And in the U.S. Senate, I'm going to do what I have always done, and that's stand on the side of Missouri families, because we know we can fix what's broken in Washington and have a voice of common sense representing our state to help get our country and our economy and our future back on track. I'm running for the United States Senate to do just that. So I... I, I appreciate, I very much appreciate y'all being here tonight. And I want to thank you for what you have already done to get us to this place. We have 91 days until Election Day. And if we're going to succeed on November 2nd, I'm going to need every one of you to help me every step of the way. And that means knocking on doors. It means making phone calls. It means helping me raise money. It means being there by my side through this whole race. And so here's what I need to know from you tonight. Can I count on you? Yeah. Can I count on you for help? Can I count on you in this fight? Can I count on you to go to my website, robincarnahan.com, and sign up and be volunteers? Can I count on you to call Bull every time you see it? All right. Can I count on you to get us past the line in November? Yeah. All right. Well, that's good. Because I'm going to need your energy and your dedication and your help to do what we all need we need to do. We all have to do, and that's to fix what's broken in Washington and get our economy and our future back on track. God bless you all, and thanks for being here.